Hello and welcome to the session, The Development of the Fetus. During this session, we will talk about the development of the fetus during the first trimester, the second trimester, and the third trimester. To this day, it's still hard to figure out the exact date of fertilization. To evaluate the duration of your pregnancy, we calculate the number of weeks without menstruation. And the calculation for the date of delivery is done from the first day of the last menstruation. A pregnancy usually lasts around 40 weeks. Your baby is considered full term starting at 37 weeks. The 42nd week of pregnancy, the maximum duration, are also divided into three trimesters, each 14 weeks long. Now take some time to look at this image. It shows your baby's progression and growth at each month of the pregnancy. Let us take a look at the main stages of development at different weeks. Week 4. One week after fertilization, the fertilized egg settles in the mucous membrane found in the mother's uterine wall. The fertilized egg looks like an actual small egg. It is made of two layers, the internal part that will become the embryo and the external part that will become the placenta, the envelope used to protect and feed the embryo. At this point, the nervous system is already in its first stage. Week 5. During the fifth week, the embryo's development speed increases. The embryo can now be seen with the naked eye. The heart enters its first stage of development. The umbilical cord now links the embryo and the mother. It will provide the embryo with nutrients coming from the oxygen and the mother's diet. During the sixth week, the embryo's heart starts beating, but it cannot be heard during a medical examination yet. The embryo looks like a bean with small sprouts that will eventually become arms and legs. The neck also begins to form. The internal ear and the eye's lens begin their development, as well as a few organs, the lungs, the stomach, the liver, and the pancreas. Week 7. During the seventh week, the brain starts its incredible development. The first outline of the cortex forms along with the development of both hemispheres, the cerebral cortex and gray matter. The head slowly forms. The back of the brain becomes wider, which leads the embryo to tilt its head forward. We can now make out the nostrils on the embryo's face. The gingival surface, where the milk teeth will grow, is already formed. On both sides of the head, we can find two small dark regions. The retinal pigment of its future eyes is producing that color. Week 8. During the eighth week, the ears start their development. While the nose and upper lip are already formed, the first senses to awaken in the embryo are its sense of smell and taste. Furthermore, olfactory receptors begin to appear as well. We can see small sprouts at the end of its limbs. These are its future fingers and toes. The embryo is no longer static. It is starting to move, but it is impossible to feel it. The embryo measures between 11 and 14 millimeters at the end of that week. Week 9. During the ninth week, the embryo looks more and more like a baby. Its limbs have continued to grow and it is now able to move in different ways. During this week, the first taste cells also begin to develop. Week 11. During the 11th week, the embryo becomes a fetus. Its head is still much bigger than the rest of its body. The face is now more defined and the eyes have moved from the sides to the front of the face. The eyelids now cover the eyes. The lips are well defined and the fetus can open its mouth. In its mouth and nose, the first cellular structures have already transformed into the foundations of tastes, taste buds, and smell. It can even drink amniotic fluid. Fortunately, its kidneys and urinary system have become functional. Week 13. During the 13th week, the first small bones begin to form. Pelvis, rib cage, head, and limbs, among others, but they are still quite soft. The spine is also slowly developing. Very fine hair starts covering the thin skin of the fetus. This is called lanugo. It usually disappears before birth. The pigment of the skin, giving its color, also develops. Until that point, the skin was almost transparent. Additionally, touch receptors now cover the whole face, the soles of its feet and the palms of its hands. Taste cells have become operational around the 13th week. What you will eat will pass through the amniotic fluid and will let the fetus slowly discover different tastes. Week 14. During the 14th week, 
Some features, such as the nose and mouth, become more defined. The ears have taken place on the sides of the head. The fetus can produce a few facial expressions such as frowning and grimacing. At this point, those facial expressions are mostly reflex. It becomes to react to outside stimuli. At the end of this first trimester, the fetus measures 9 centimeters from head to bottom and weighs around 40 grams. Week 16. During the 16th week, the fetus enters a stage of accelerated growth. Everything is now in place for each organ to begin fulfilling its role. The fetus is stronger and its kicks feel more powerful. Its movements are also better coordinated. Sometimes it grabs on its umbilical cord and plays with it by pushing it, pulling on it, etc. It is perfectly normal for the fetus to get hiccups because it is drinking a lot of amniotic fluid. In a few weeks, you will be able to feel when it happens. Week 18. During the 18th week, the head is now smaller than the rest of the body. The retina is now sensitive to light. If a strong enough halo of light is shown on the mother's belly, the fetus will react. It is now possible to find out the baby's sex. If it is a boy, the penis will be visible, and if it is a girl, the uterus and fallopian tubes are in place. Week 20. During the 20th week, you have reached the halfway point of the pregnancy. The fetus now begins processing the sensory information it receives. In its brain, the specialized zones for the five senses are in place. It is at this point that most mothers will feel the baby's movements become more vigorous. Between activity periods, the fetus sleeps a lot, from 18 to 20 hours per day. At the end of the 20th week, the fetus measures 16 centimeters from head to bottom. Week 24. During the 24th week, the skin of the fetus is still rippled. It will stretch as the fetus gains weight because, for the moment, its reserves of fat are limited. The skin thickens and becomes slightly colored, but it is still quite transparent. We can still see the blood flowing in the blood vessels. Capillaries. Actual hair is starting to grow on the head of the fetus. It is not duvet anymore. The fetus will start opening its eyes. Its eyelids slowly detach. It becomes conscious of light and darkness. Week 25. During the 25th week, the baby is somewhat conscious of your presence. It starts reacting to elements of the outside world, the familiar voices of its parents and other members of its family, the activity and light in daytime, the tranquility during the night, etc. It may sometimes jump in surprise and it can react to light touches from the outside. It also reacts to your body's noises. It can hear your heartbeat, the air that enters your lungs, sound made by your digestive system, etc. All these noises calm and lull the fetus. Considering that, it should not be surprising that holding your baby in your arms after its birth will be calming. The baby will be reassured by all the noises it also heard when it was in the womb. Week 28th. During the 28th week, your future baby is becoming prettier. It is rounder and its skin is unfolding. Under its skin, reserves of fat are now more important and represent about 3% of its total weight. It is curious. When a sound or light grabs its attention, it turns its head in that direction. Its little hands are active and the fetus works on its dexterity. The baby occasionally sucks on its thumb. This calms the baby and activates the muscles in its jaws and teeth. The fetus continues to gain a lot of weight. It measures around 25 centimeters from head to bottom and weighs almost 1 kilogram. Week 30. During the 30th week, the fetus evolves in limited space inside the uterus. Its movements are more restricted. Its muscles gain in size and its movements are more intense. It needs good amounts of proteins, vitamins, and minerals, especially calcium and iron, which will come from your diet. Organs are almost completely formed, except the kidneys and lungs, which require more time. At this stage, the eyes of the fetus are open most of the time. It can see from 20 to 30 centimeters forward, but its vision remains limited. It can also perceive noises and voices. Week 32. During the 32nd week, the fetus gains weight very quickly towards the end of the pregnancy. Half of the baby's birth weight is gained in the last seven weeks of pregnancy. The appearance of the fetus has changed. It is rounder. The fetus will shift its body to have its head downward ahead of its birth. Its head will rest on your pelvis and will go down progressively. Week 36. During the 36th week, at last, the final months of your pregnancy. 
The brain has completed its fetal development, but it will continue to grow throughout your baby's life. Its digestive system and lungs are almost mature. It gains around 230 grams per week and now has nice round cheeks. The baby will have hiccups sometimes and it is normal. It is working out how to breathe and it's developing its lungs. However, it is currently breathing amniotic fluid. It swallows some at the same time and that is giving it the hiccups. Week 37. During the 37th week, your future baby is now considered full term. All its organs are operational and it is strong enough to survive and start its life as a child. The fetus decides, so to speak, of the moment of its birth. When it will become too stuck, it will secrete a hormone that triggers contractions. For any questions regarding the content of these prenatal capsules, you can contact your region's perinatality nurse.